My journey is so fresh. One year and five months ago. You would think the person pulling this crowd has been doing it for ten years. Just one year and so months. Nine o'clock. I started to speak something. I put my hand like this, not stopping. I tried to switch to English, not stopping. I don't have a video of it on Facebook. I couldn't call him. I texted him. What is happening to me? Call me and make this stop. He called and instead of him to pray, he was laughing. <laughs> I was getting angry. I would be like, why are you laughing? I couldn't. He laughed. He said, be still. And it stopped for a second. And he said, this is how it happens the first time. Once he hung up, the thing heard him that he hung up. It came again. Nine o'clock, I spoke in tongues to run. There was cloud in my room, smoke in my room. Even my videos that people watch online, they see cloud, they see rain on me. You guys have seen so many things on my videos. That day the room was cloudy. My mother heard me downstairs, run up, open the door to see me. Something pushed her out and closed the door. God was anointing me. Demons were leaving me. Deliverance was being done. God told me when it was four hours, record it. I picked up my phone. I still don't know how. I used this right hand to hold the phone. I was speaking in tongues and the phone was going live on Facebook. Till today, I don't know how I held that phone. And since then, this is the hand I use to do my videos. I have done videos online for 12 hours. This is the hand. I don't have a stand. This is the hand. I used to hold it for 12 hours. I don't know how I do these things. After that whole anointing, I finished, I slept. The next day, I started to hear scriptures. I started to hear something about God, about Jesus. That's the Holy Spirit. And then he said, go online and preach. I said, me, the party girl, they didn't go to church for 15 years. Only know John 3, 16, the Lord, and wait, I'm sorry, for God so loved the world that he gave us. I knew that from when I was little. Only scripture I know. Even now, I don't know a lot of scriptures. You see, I was about to say, the Lord is my shepherd. I'm still learning. He said, don't worry, I will help you. Do you know he's our helper? I obeyed. I picked up my phone. I came alive. And I started to preach. Almost two hours. I was speaking to him, I'll cry, I'll preach. People were watching. Some say, hey, she's desperate. Some say, ah, life, life is so hard now. Party business is not working again. Everybody wants to do pastor. People were making fun of me. But I wasn't listening to them. The voice in me was strong. Every day after that day, he tells me to go and preach. Every day I go. Every day I go. Every day I go. Before there was no testimonies. It was just me preaching. Repent. Jesus is coming soon. All these messages. Like the apostles. In Acts of the Apostles. Remember the day of Pentecost. That same day Peter became a preacher. The same Peter that was shy. That denied Jesus three times. Suddenly became bold. Standing in front of thousands of people. Preaching and even quoting scriptures. That's what happened to me. As of today, I have over 700 videos on Facebook. Highly anointed 
videos. Spirit filled videos. Videos that people watch. One of my deliverance video has 1.2 million views. Over 1 million people watch it and were delivered. We were on the plane coming to Atlanta. A lady message pastor to pray for her that she wants deliverance. She went to another man of God. He told her the demon in her has, is not ripe enough. That he cannot deliver her now until the demon is ripe. Like the demon is a fruit or something. So she came and told pastor. She said, the pastor said the demon is not right. The pastor got upset. He said, you know, we're about to go to Atlanta. Go watch the video that the woman of God posted on her page. When he landed in Atlanta, he opened his phone. She sent him a picture. She vomited blood and some insects. I did that video a year ago. Until today, people watch it and they get delivered the demon that was not ripe enough we got a kind of anointing that made it ripe and it came out i'm just giving you an example this happened just yesterday when we were coming but thousands of people watch online now from 20 10 15 now we have thousands watching me all these people came from a video this is the first time i'm seeing a lot of you I have gone to California with them. I have taken them to Dallas, to Minnesota, to Maryland, now Atlanta, two weeks from now New York. New York venue is for a thousand people. Every venue has been filled to the maximum. Tell me this is not God. This is my destiny. It happened because I did what he said, seek him first. I lived righteously. And he has given me everything that belongs to me. This destiny belongs to me. The devil switched it before and gave me a fake destiny. But I got it back. And it all started when I got filled with the Holy Ghost. And I kept hearing impartation. What does that mean? Before this program, God kept telling me impartation. The way he used me, there's so many people here he wants to use. So that's what I will do today. That's what it means, right? That's why when I was introducing him, you guys did not know the story. I love him so much. He doesn't brag, but he's very anointed. My cousin loves him too. Two of them, I love them. We work so well together. Lady preaching, crying. I'm always crying. I'm always speaking in tongues. It's kind of not common to see people speaking in tongues on Facebook. People tell me nobody speaks in tongues on Facebook, but I don't even know how to pray in English. I tell you, I didn't go to church for 15 years. Do I look like your normal church person? Even the way I dress is too flashy. The way I do things is too big. I spend money. To do these things, I'm not cheap. I used to do big for the world. Why will I go down for God? He deserves the best. People always want to downgrade when it comes to the things of God. But when it comes to baby shower, their 50th birthday, they will go and borrow money and do. 
when it comes to offering, they will count the coins in their paws. Why? For the one that gives you life. My life changed. Now I can pray. And everything I say is actually a prophecy. Pastor, tell them. If I speak a word, it will happen. That, you don't believe me? Who wants me to prophesy to them? Uh-huh. Before, my words had no power. But look at what God did to me, a quick work. And that's what he wants to do to a lot of people. In the last days, he says he will pour out his spirit, right? On our flesh. Are you not on flesh? What is holding you back from receiving? Most times it's sin. Disobedience. Unforgiveness. Greed. Pride. Envy. All these things. What, what are we doing all that for? Why are we hating on people when we should be worried about how God can move us to the next level? People that hated on me when I saw it, they are coming to me now asking me to pray for them. What if I had listened to them and stopped? Me and them would be in the same level. I cut them off. I was not listening. My eyes were focused on Jesus. Because when I surrendered, I gave him all. I surrender. I surrender all to be my blessed Savior. Let the devotion sing it like you made it one more time, everybody. in me. I want to disappear so you can appear in me. I was not asking for car. Let me tell you, I gave my only car up. He told you there was a time he was training up. He said, God sent five of you here. You have to give something before he can take you to the next level. I had nothing left. I lost everything I had in storage because I couldn't pay for my storage. The only thing I had left was my car. And when he told us, go on the altar and God will tell you what to give. All I heard was my car. I didn't even have a job. And I have a son. I said, I hear my car. He said, are you sure? Go and sleep over here. The next morning I called him, I still hear my car. He said, are you sure? I said, yes. I had no other car, but I gave it up. And after that, oh, next level. God provided a car for me to use. God wanted to see if I was still holding on to anything. If I still loved anything more than him, if I was willing to give it all, like he did with Abraham, he wanted him to sacrifice his sin. When he was willing to do it, he stopped him. Before he can take you to the next level, you must be willing to let go of everything. Everyone. Just fully say, Lord, I'm ready. I'm ready. Whatever you want to use me for, just use me, Lord. 
I don't want to be attached to nothing. I don't want to be attached to anyone. I don't want to love anything more than you. I don't want to love money more than you. I don't want to love my job, not even my husband, not even my kids. Uh, you are number one. Whatever you tell me to do, I will do it. That's the people that God is looking for. People that when he say go, they go. Not people that want to look back and say, wait, let me go bury this. No, he said, let the dead bury the dead. Not somebody that said, oh, let me, no, no, no. Someone that is willing to get up and follow. And carry your cross daily. It's a daily worship. Not once a month. Not once a year. God is spirit. And his true worshipers. We must worship him in spirit and in truth. Daily. You go to work almost every day. Every day you have to worship him. Should be part of you. The day you don't worship, you should not feel complete. You will feel like something is missing. That's what I do now. My life, everything I do is for Him. Everywhere I go is for Him. There's nowhere I go and I'm doing something that doesn't glorify God. I'm here in Atlanta. Today we have done, when we finish here tomorrow, we will schedule you guys to come if you want to see us. Monday I'm gone. We have New York, we're planning. We have Nigeria, we're planning. And I'm living for God. And I am not broke. The kind of money I have in my account now, I have never seen it before in my life. Money comes daily. Last week, a lady sent me a thousand dollars. Say, God told her to sow a seed. People are always sending money. One of the ladies here refused to allow me to pay for the hotel. She paid for everybody. She paid for this thing. In New York, the place for one thousand, one of the followers paid it. It was in thousands of dollars. Favor! Lives because you will not come back with not even a dime. When you have money, why do you think God gave it to you? To impact lives, to help with his work. You may not all be preachers, but you could help with the work of God. Some people that will give money to people, but when it comes to church, their church building is collapsing. They have money to help fix it. They don't want to give. Why do you think you have so much money? God is watching you. That's all I do with my money. The work of God. When we went to Minnesota, this lady's calculated it. I think it was Minnesota. I think almost 9,000. The offer was only 4,000. We went to Maryland. I spent how much? 13, 15,000. These were the girls that calculated my total. like how much in Maryland? Five or six thousand? I don't make money from these things. The goal is not to make money. It's for lives to be changed. It's for people to be blessed. I could have been greedy and said, why would I keep doing this? I'm spending all my money. It's not my money. It's God's money. So don't think we're here doing it for money. 
when I finish, I still have to appreciate them because they are servants of God. But God appreciates me. It's not about the money. And money comes. God told me to go to Nigeria. My cousin and I are going. I posted it on Facebook that I'm going to Nigeria. The next day, <laughs> God, a lady messaged me and said she wants to buy my ticket to Nigeria. I said that I'm going with my cousin. She said she, she will buy our tickets. It's over a thousand each. She said, you know what? I've made a lot of money and I want to start investing it in the work of God. I'm going to pay for everything you spend in Nigeria. I'm going to accommodate you in any hotel you want. I'm going to pay for the program, the hall, the flyer. Don't spend nothing. Hey! Do you know how much we are talking about? This is over $20,000. One person. Are you guys seeing what I'm talking about? Before I would have been thinking, calculating, I don't have to think. I just obey. And he just fix. He puts people in place. Don't you want that kind of life? Thank you, Jesus. All I heard was impartation. You touch me. You joy. You my soul. Yes, it happened. And now I know he touched me and he made me whole. He touched me. He touched me. My soul that fills my soul. Something. He did a devotion. He did a devotion. He touched me. From a party promoter to Jesus promoter. God says, make me famous. Tell people about me. Tell them to love me. God even taught me a song in my dream when I was sleeping. I saw angels singing. I saw this angel singing. Smiling at me. No shall of the Lord that make it all. No shall of the Lord that make it all. No shall of the Lord that make it He said, teach this song to everybody. That is my first commandment. They must love me with all their heart, their mind, their soul, their strength. The first and the greatest commandment. My ministry is all about loving God. A lot of people here, they would tell you they love God so much. Before they used to love money and all this, but now if you ask them, what do you want? I just want to love God more. I just want to be closer to God. I just want more fire. I just... Isn't that true? Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He says it's time. Get up, everybody. Today, all of you here, you have already said the salvation prayer. I am telling you that when you leave this place today, you will begin to walk into your destiny. As long as you are willing to let God lead you. Don't restrict him. Don't hold back. Don't stop the voice that you are hearing. Don't be disobedient. Don't be afraid. The same way I came Touch me with your hand Jesus Please don't let me go Lord. The same way I came Please Lord Touch me with your hands Jesus Sing it like you mean it. I want to hear your voice. Sing it with all your heart. Some of you are on the road for days. Jesus. Sing it one more time, everybody. Oh, I want to hear your voice, everybody. I am tired of being the same person all the time. I need a change. I need your touch, Lord. I need your touch, Lord. Oh, I need your touch. I need your touch, Lord. You let your touch. I don't hear you singing this song. He's 
Father, you kept telling me impartation. What you have done for me, you say you want to do it. For a lot of people here in Atlanta. One day is not 10 years from now. It could be one month, it could be two weeks, it could be three weeks, it could be one year. But it all depends on you. 
like, how bad do you want this? At this point, nobody cares about what anybody thinks of them right now. It's that what Jesus is thinking of you right now, that's what you, you care about right now. We're not going to leave to please people anymore. We are done with that. It is time to leave to glorify God. So when I say open your hands up, believe that Jesus is standing right there with you. He told me he's always by my right hand side. He told me he has assigned so many angels. I can tell them to do whatever I want. And right now, I want impartation in everybody here. So every single person, I will assign one angel to stand in front of you. Make sure you're not standing close to any speaker. Angels, take your position. One angel for everyone. They will touch you. They will impact whatever you need to get to the next level in your life. They will do deliverance on you. They will take away that thing that has been holding you back from moving forward. I have not even started. Some of them, when you, some of you start to feel cold where you're standing because they are standing so close to you. They're just waiting for me to tell them what to do. The atmosphere is getting so cold. One angel for everyone. Even the people watching online, get up wherever you're watching from. In partition. That's all I've been hearing in my spirit. Father, I am only obeying what you have told me to do today in this place. Every state, every city I have gone to, it has been a different, different assignment. This one I hear in partition. I will count on to three. Like I said, you guys feel a cold wind coming into this place. There's a cold wind coming into this place. They are trooping in. <laughs> they are trooping in. <laughs> Some of you will speak angelic tongues. The place is getting so cold. <laughs> there are so many of them here. One for each person. Some of you, you will begin to see clearly. Some of you, when you go home, all those things you used to do, you will hate. You will hate them. God will do deliverance on you. You will hate those things. You will begin to love God. Angels, on the count of three, begin to impact everyone. DJ, keyboard is everyone. Even the ones that are not expecting it, touch them anyway. Even the children, touch them anyway. You will feel a cold touch on your forehead. Right now, some of you already feel cold. That's right, somebody. Nobody to hold anybody because everybody wants to be impacted. Their presence is making the room so cold like ice. It's so cold right now in this place. We have so many, over 200. I hear 274 angels here today. I will count three. You will feel a cold touch on your forehead. It will go through your body all the way down. It will make you cold. You will freeze. You will speak in tongues. You will cry. You will be numb. Hey. You will never regret coming here today. Angels, take your position. Even the people watching online, we have thousands of people. The assignment applies to those online too. But you have to stand up wherever you are. Your life will never be the same. Some of you will find yourself preaching tomorrow. Some of you, you will hate that place you always go to suddenly. Some of you will pray tonight like you've never prayed in your life. Some of you will read your Bible for the first time and you will understand it. Some of you, hey! <laughs> That's right, it's already happening. Their presence 
God has made this room so cold. It's just like the day of Pentecost. That's right. I'm going to come up at the three. And I will tell them to touch. And you will feel it. Oh. Those people having evil dreams, you will never have those nightmares again. Those people having people sleep with them. Because that touch will not only impact, but it will always remove whatever needs to be removed from you. Run! Raise up your hand. Hi! Angels! Get ready. When I count up the three, touch all of them. Even the children. Make sure your hand is up. If you will be distracted, close your eyes. Get ready to touch them, angels. Please begin to touch them. Receive it now. Touch them from the back. Touch them from the front. Touch them from the middle. Touch them from the side. Touch them. Some of you, your legs will be weak now. Some of you will not be able to stand right now. Some of you will sleep off right now. Touch them, even the ones are lying. Touch them now. right I hear cleansing 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 they are doing cleansing on you some of you will want to go pee pee right off right now for five minutes and God will show you something. Some of you will be so weak to even stand up right now. All of you in this room are here seven days from now. The kind of testimony that you will have, the world is not ready for it yet. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I hear it seven days from now of you in this room, you will have a testimony that will shake the world. They have done cleansing on you. They have impacted on you. They have done something on you.
DJ, God bless you, sir. Wow. Some people are still drunk in the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. See how the Spirit of God took over? I was going to take offering. But God said, I can wait. I have something more for them. He keeps blessing you. He keeps giving and giving and giving. Some of you will feel like something left you. You will feel so light. Some of you will have the best sleep tonight when you go home. You will sleep like babies. Peaceful. If you have your orphan, raise it up. Keyboard is unstoppable. Even those that don't have offering, raise your hand up. Because today will be the last day that you will never have offering. From today you will have offering after this meeting. Father Lord, I bless this offering. I hear multiplication, multiply. Whatever they have given, multiply. A hundred times more. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed. The ones that don't have to give, you will receive miracle money. You will see financial breakthrough, financial favor. Next time in a meeting, not just my meeting, your church, anywhere you go, you will be the first to give. In the name of Jesus. The one that I've given, may doors begin to open for you. May people begin to do good to you. May people begin to favor you. Oh, yes. Testimonies will be your portion. In the name of Jesus. I don't want to dance. I want to be in this mood. Just come out and give your offer. Keep on, keep on. I just want to say, Baba. Thank you. I just want to say Oh, I don't know. 
something in your life. You may not see it now, but you will. When I started preaching on Facebook, Just playing. I have to sing it. We give you praise for you. We are so blessed. Our souls are so blessed. Bring those two boxes down here so that the ladies can come pick their dresses. We're gonna take an extra 30 minutes because we started late. Where are the boxes with the dresses? Just put them here and open them. We are so blessed. We are so blessed. Our souls are so blessed. Let's just be in this atmosphere. The presence of God is so strong. Let's open the box. 
We're not doing tables today. We should have enough for all the ladies. I always give dresses when I go. The long dresses, I wear them and my followers like them. So I give them for free to my followers. That's just from me to you. the table. You can pour it on the table. You sure? Alright, pour it on the table. Hurry up. Quick, quick, quick. brand new dresses. I just need to anoint them. Oh yes, I love those keyboardists. They did it a bow shot. Everything that comes from me is anointed. Everything that comes from me is anointed. But I'm still going to bless it anyway. Father Lord, I anoint these dresses, Lord. Even as they wear it, they will be filled with the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Things will begin to work out for their good. They will fulfill their destinies. In the name of Jesus. This is from me, your anointed daughter, to your children. As they wear this dress, testimonies will begin to come for them. In the name of Jesus. Whenever they wear this dress, whatever they decree will happen. In the name of Jesus. Yes, you are the Lord. How many ladies did we have? Did somebody count? Did you count? Up till now. How many people traveled to come here? The ones that travel, the ladies that travel, come and get yours. One by one, stand up for a straight line. Quickly, pick one and okay, put this to the corner because I want you to wear it. Yeah, they, they're gonna wear it. When you pick your dress, you stand on this corner, all the ladies. Put this box on this side. As you pick the dress, put it to this corner here. As you pick your dress, you stand there and you wear it. Use that thing to put trash. Is the money still there? You put it on what you're putting on because we normally take pictures with it. Remove the bags, they'll take it from me. We'll take a group picture. That's what I do with everywhere I go. Come on, ladies. Quick, 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 quick. Snappy. Pick anyone you like. Don't just take anyone because it's up. Take the one you like. Go that way. I don't want children. You have to be a woman. Not kids. Not kids. 18 and up. If you're not 18, don't touch it. Actually, 21 and up. 21 and up, please. Wear it on top of what you're wearing so we can take a good picture. It's from me to you. A lot of ladies message me that they wear it to pray. No more nightmares. They wear it and they speak in tongues for hours. It's whatever you believe that works. All right, ladies, when you get, go to that corner, please. Push it more to this side. Push it more to this side. So that there will be more space. There's a lot of ladies. I have over a hundred. There should be enough for all of you. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, Lord. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Push it more to this side. They're getting more and more. 
Yes, you are. Do we have enough for other ladies? Ushers, take that trash bag from them. One of the ushers should be there with the bags yet. One per person. We still have a lot. Don't worry. You will get one. The rest of the ladies, you can be in line. If you want one. Yes, you are. Yet for you, but one day, every day, nothing, every day, nothing. <laughs> you say what? Every day, nothing. <laughs> every day, nothing. Bishop will start having Bishop and Pastor Isaac, they will get something for the men. Bishop and Pastor Isaac from New York, you need to get something for the men. No <laughs> one <laughs> All right, ladies, this way, this way, if you have your dress. Actually, the shortest people come and stand on the stage with me. 
The shortest. No, no, no. Calm down. Wait, let me pick you. Let me pick you. The shortest. Jemima, Jemima, come on. All the short, short people come here. Not the tall ones. Short. Calm down. Calm down. Only short ladies. Today now, everybody is claiming to be short. Hey, this thing, this thing is shaking up. Please, please. Okay. Only you stand behind them. The taller ones stand behind the short ones. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. We only needed one line. Help me push this today. Everybody hiding and you okay. Let me come to the front. We have so many ladies here. Oh, wow. Where am I gonna stay for the picture of victory? You want me in the front? Out here. Will, will you see me? Okay. I want to come in between the short ladies. Hold on, sweetie. You have to be behind her. So let can you guys allow me enter? It was me that allowed you to come here, Bill. <laughs> 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 I gave you guys a spot now. <laughs> me, I can't get a spot again. <laughs> Do you see me, Victory Media? But I blended with them. I need to be different. Okay. Okay, ladies, look, look at him, all of you. Ushers, so people can squat on the floor. Is it sheer covering anybody? Alright, ladies, focus. Look at the camera, everybody. Say cheese. Say cheese again. Let's do something crazy for the Lord. Raise your hand, everybody. To the front, me. Can I come from here? Help me. Oh. Thank you. Where? Right here.
<laughs> she was on the floor. <laughs> face, face the crowd. Let them take a nice picture of you. They've been working hard. It's not easy to hold people. And we even have a guy. The man, I think the man should be in the middle. What don't, you, don't you think the man should be in the middle? You guys should not leave him out. We love him too. Uh oh, they say they are coming. They are counting money. <laughs> Take a nice picture. You shall love the Lord. Let me get Can I invite my um the love the loves of my life of my life? Hey God, my life. How many life I yet? Pastor Isaac, Samuel the second, and Bishop Blessing. Can you please come? You know how we do it. To bless them, they've worked, they've served. All right, face us now. Huh? Pastor will pray. Bishop will pray. I didn't get to pray for you guys earlier today, and I don't like that. You've worked hard. A lot of these ladies, I created a group for them on Messenger. They planned. They dedicated her to cook for us, Shichi. Susanna picked us from the airport, did a lot of stuff. They even printed t-shirts. They bought all these women you see here. Except for a few of them that came that were not part of it. They, they did so much. They made it so easy for me. So they deserve to be blessed. I didn't spend as much here because some of them paid for most of the things here. So we need to bless them. So Pastor Isaac, you can use my mic, it's louder. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now there is a special blessing that comes upon those that serve in the house of God. There's a special blessing that comes upon those that serve in the house of God. Now some of the things that you see us do today, for example, you see me stretching my hands. These things came by service. I have served men of God over the years. There was a time I was a driver for one of my pastors. 12, 13 years ago. Hallelujah. So when you see this anointing, it comes through service. Hallelujah. So these are the ones that I've served today. Thank you, Lord. And there are still some of you who served in different capacities. The Lord will locate you right where you're sitting. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for these ones. So brakando shita kaba ayidihis. So krakida bato shanta kabahata. Shida own saste fratijo pranto kosekiha. Yes, katabaro shanto fratahata. Even as they've partnered to make this happen. Lord, make things happen in their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, even as they've helped to organize this place, Lord God, I ask that you organize their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, let every miracle that was received by people because of their service, let that miracle happen in your lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, let them find help even when they didn't ask for it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let strangers locate them and help them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, in the day that there are no human beings to help them, let angels appear and help them. In the name of Jesus. But I ask that you bless these ones. I ask that you touch them. Not only them, but their family members as well. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Because you always answer my prayers. And I know even this has been answered. I give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father. Be your dear children. They've given their time. Given their energy even given their money and everything for this work. Search their hearts. Whatever that be their needs, whatever that has given them sleepless nights, whatever that has bothered their mind, as a sign that your hand is upon this program, 
grant unto them in the name of Jesus. I declare every one of you blessed. No weapon form against you shall prosper. The anointing of God will rest upon your life. And your life will be a testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus. I declare you are blessed. I declare you are blessed. In Jesus name. Let everybody say amen. Hallelujah. So they've already prayed. I don't have to pray again. What I did in Maryland was I told them to open their hand and angels will give them two gifts. And one of them here was from Maryland and she got a testimony already. A big gift. Right? And some other people messaged me. So you deserve your own gifts too. Keyboardist, let me hear it. Father, I thank you for them. Because they have served two gifts I don't know what you want everybody's different but God knows exactly what you want I feel a strong anointing coming on me right now I want angels to line up in front of you how many are you? 11 angels one for each person two gifts will drop in your hand some of you will feel tingling sensation some of you will feel heaviness. Some of you will feel heat, fire in your hands. At the count of three, receive your gift. One. Two. Three. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Somebody here will get a brand new car. I hear it so clearly. Yes, I hear it so clearly. Somebody will get married here. I hear it so clearly. Receive it. That's right. Something is happening. I don't know about You receive a gift, Chichi. I hear fruit of the womb. That's Shada Baba. That's right. For serving. That's right. You can serve and lead the same. That's right. They don't know. Receive it. That's right. You with the glasses. Remove it. Close your eyes. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God always rewards people. He's the best rewarder. That's right. There's a strong anointing here right now. They are drunk in the Holy Ghost. I open my eyes. Yes, Lord. You are not serving in vain. Testimonies. That's right. 
Oh Jesus, say it in a motion. I hear instant miracles. Something just happened to somebody else. It's healing, something happens. Something just happened. God just speak something in somebody here just now. I hear instant miracle. I don't know, but I hear it so clearly. Something just happened. They are still working on them. It's a heavy anointing. Three servants of God prayed for them. Highly anointed servants of God. Their lives will never be the same. Open my eyes. Let it to the bush. It's your time. You've been serving all night. God did not forget you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I keep hearing healing. I don't know. Somebody here. I keep hearing healing. I don't know what. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to close now. I normally sprinkle water on your faces. But we've done so much today. And I don't want to sprinkle water today. You have received a lot today. You are blessed already. When the angels did the impartation, there was a lot of cleansing, a lot of flushing, a lot of things that were done. I'm not led to do the water today. So we're just going to rise up and round them. Bishop is in the mood to sing today. Jesus. Just say thank you, Jesus, wherever you are. Just thank him for tonight. So many things happen today. God doesn't like us taking anything for granted. He likes us to appreciate him for what he has done. A lot of people got saved today. A lot of people got delivered. A lot of people got spiritual gifts. A lot of people got blessed. A lot of people got free from depression. From heaviness, from laziness, from mental illness, from blindness, spiritual blindness. Trust me, you don't know. When you begin to experience what is happening in your life from tomorrow, go, from tonight actually, then you will know what you receive today. Oh, yes, we love you. Sometimes it's so hard to leave his presence. It's like you don't want this to end. We spent extra 30 minutes. It doesn't feel like we've been here seven and a half hours. Or do you feel it? Now you see why people could be with Jesus for three days and they forgot to eat. Jesus had to feed them with fish and bread. Because they stayed with him three days. They were not even hungry. They didn't want to leave. You have to send them home after feeding them. We have fed you spiritual food. We have given gifts. We have prayed for you. We 
With, with us and the anointing is still here we want to keep the fire burning we want to see you live a new life we want to see revival break forth in Atlanta hallelujah came immediately to steal the seed. Don't let the bird steal what you've received tonight. Don't let the devil lie to you and tell you you've not received from the Lord. Hallelujah. The devil wants to wait outside and say, oh, you didn't receive anything. Tell that devil you're a bastard. Tell that devil you're a liar. I'm blessed, I'm healed, I'm delivered, I'm favored. Hallelujah. If the man of God declares you're going to have the fruit of the womb, go and begin to prepare for your baby. Hallelujah. If they told you you're going to get married, go and buy your wedding dress. Hallelujah. The Bible says Samuel's words did not fall to the ground. Hallelujah. The man of God's words didn't fall to the ground. Hallelujah. So go expectant knowing fully well that you received a miracle hallelujah god bless you we love you and we'll see you in new york for those of you that are gonna come hallelujah in two weeks time make sure you make your way to staten island in new york hallelujah praise the lord yes we'll be in new york um march 10th it's a saturday all three of us at um uh, nah, uh, uh, it's, it, if you if you don't follow me on facebook write my name down it's belema abeli b-e-l-e-m-a last name is a-b-i-l-i so you the flyer is on my page you can watch the videos his name is blessing samuel this bishop blessing samuel and his name is isaac samuel the second i i so you can friend all of us follow all of us so that way you'll be blessed. You can also refer people to the videos. And um, like I said, like they said, testimonies, testimonies, testimonies. In Jesus' name. Have you been blessed? Yes. I can't hear you. Have you been blessed? Yes. 
How loud can you say that? That's right. Let's share the grace together in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever, man. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Don't go anywhere. But tomorrow, we will be here. Well, we're not leaving till Monday. A lot of you want to see us. This is what we do wherever we go. Bishop will not be here tomorrow. Only Pastor and I. So if you want to see us, we'll start seeing people from 12. Just come to the lobby. We'll have my ushers. They will take a list of people so we can have one-on-one -on -one counseling with you. If you need one-on-one -on -one counseling now, you will not come and see us empty-handed. You will have an offering. Don't buy me plantain chips. I'm already fat. I don't want chips. Because we're going to pray, and this is what we do for a living. But we don't want to see anyone that doesn't have any offering. We've already given enough today. So if you still want to come again tomorrow, don't come empty-handed. From 12 o'clock, the ladies will tell you where to meet us as when it comes to your turn and you will see us. Bishop is leaving early morning. So I'm here till Monday, but tomorrow is for seeing people. From 12 o'clock till whenever, we are done, right? So if you're coming, you want to see Pastor, just indicate if you want to see me indicate we try not to see too like when you see him it's good when you see me it's good because if you see him and see me we'll be tired so you have to pick who you want to see i'm sorry but <laughs> even now we're very tired <laughs> we sleep we wake up <laughs> we start working again so you don't want us to collapse right all right so we're going to take some pictures victory media are you guys ready for pictures Oh, I have water. Let me bless water for you guys. I always bless water. This Atlanta, why am I forgetting you guys? So we bought water for you. You drink it in your house. Don't drink it. My, the blessed water that I bless. People, some people throw up. Some people vomit. Some people, well, something happens. Some people pee, poop, whatever. The ladies will give you water. Don't rush. It's free. I will pray for it and you take it home with you and you drink it. Everybody will get. We bought enough for everybody. Ushers, can you pass it on to them? Sit down, sit down. Get your water. The ones online, Victory, the video is still on, right? We have already closed, but I almost forgot the water. One per person, please. Don't take two. So everybody can get. Online, get your water. We didn't forget you guys. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. Receive your own miracle. Am I facing online, Victory? Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. I hear 24 hours miracle. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. If you watch online, make sure you make efforts to come to one near you. The next one is in New York on the 10th of March. After that, by the 16th of March, Pastor Isaac and I will be traveling to Nigeria. We'll be there for a month. We'll go to different states in Nigeria, Abuja, Patakot, Lagos. Just give it to them quickly. Give them one. Everybody take one, one, one quick so we can pray. There's been so many testimonies from this bottle of water. Just drink it when you get home. Don't drink it here because you might start hearing some noise in your belly. Drink it in your house, please. The ones online, you can drink it now. Is that all we have? It looks like we don't have enough. We do? Okay. Take your water. Make sure your children get one too. You can also sprinkle in your house when you get home. Sprinkle it. Even in your car, sprinkle. This is anointed water. I want to pray for it. Online, get your water. Thank you, men of God. Thank you. I love you guys. God bless you. What can I do without you guys now? Eh? <laughs> I love them. Everybody got water? If you haven't gotten, raise your hand. Let them come and give you. Okay, ladies, there's a lot of people that need it. 
one one if if after giving them one we still have a lot then they can take more than one but for now i don't know how many cases you got but do we still have a lot left or that's it me too i want one or ah actually i have one here please give the dj and the keyboard this one don't skip them can somebody give the dj and the keyboard this one each You are the Lord. We still have a full house, even at the end. Some places, half of the people will leave, but you guys are glued. The power of the Holy Ghost. God bless you for giving DJ and Hallelujah. have kids I've not been able to have children get one for them give it to them they will have testimonies hallelujah hallelujah raise your hand if you need one for one of those people I mentioned sick barren at home or a friend that you know just tell them to drink it and believe and it's done alrighty God bless you, ushers. Everybody get up. Raise your water up. I want you to open the bottle. Open it. And raise it up. I bless water all the time in my videos. And there's always a lot of testimonies. It's the same anointing, the same God, the same Jesus, the same Holy Ghost. Father, I command everybody's water to turn into the blood of Jesus right now. In the name of Jesus. I release the anointing upon my life. The power that you have given me. The fire. I release it into everybody's water. Both the ones watching online and the ones here. In the name of Jesus. This will be miracle water. Deliverance water. Healing water restoration water as they drink it miracles will begin to happen demons will flee they will be healed in the name of jesus as they drink it every evil deposit in their body will be flushed out in the name of jesus i anoint everybody's water including the ones watching online i anoint it in the name of god the father raise it up god the son Vicky, I want you to take this picture of water. Come to the front here. Yeah. Raise it up. I anoint it in the name of God the Father. God the Son. Take a full shot from here. Straight down. And God the Holy Ghost. The water, oh my God, I feel the presence of God. Yes. Oh Jesus. Oh God, I Yes, the power. I feel power. Oh, I feel power coming into your water. You can drink it here. They have restrooms here. But uh, if, if, you know, I want to wait till you get home. Your water is anointed in the name of Jesus. Amen. You can drink it here. But the restrooms are right there. Some of you want to drink it, you will go and vomit. Some of you will pee. Some of you will go poop. Some of you will be falling under the anointing. Online, you too can drink it. I felt a strong anointing come on me when I was praying for it. Look, if 
you want to take picture with me, I'll be standing here. Bishop left already. If you want to take picture with my cousin, we'll be here. Make it orderly, please. Ushers, make, make them stand in a line or something. Victory, don't end the video. Don't. Let's do the video. Can you see the picture session? Is there a better camera that will show it? Okay. We can't do one by one because I'm not going to be able to stand. I'm so tired. <laughs> the program is over now. I'm so tired. I can't even stand again. <laughs> Pastor, let me... Yeah. Let me and Pastor take first. Come on, Pastor. The bishop leave already. Okay. He has to leave early. Come on. praise to you and we give thanks we give praise for we know that all things work together 